If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall, and I sell out, that's we. Today is Thursday, April 6th, and it is 5.15 in the morning. So this morning I got up early because I did not manage to actually create a PowerPoint for the presentation I have today. So yesterday I actually finished the research proposal presentation, like the written part. And so I'm really happy that I was able to do that because I was stressing. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to have, have it done for tomorrow. And I did it. I did it. Under pressure, I did it. <laughs> um, so yesterday in the morning, I um, worked on the conference paper. So that's done being written. I just need to edit today. Um, and then after that, I worked on the um, research proposal for all of the day. Kenzo's up that's early he usually just sleeps through <clears throat> but um so you'll hear him you'll hear him in the background walking um and then after that i had the meeting with my supervisor and that went really well we had a two-hour talk so you can imagine that it was um it wasn't it didn't feel long because I don't know i get along very well with my supervisor and um i never feel like i'm wasting my time with her i always feel like i have questions or she has questions and we just have good conversations but also she's not only my supervisor like my research supervisor but she's also the director of the lab so i work under her as well um and so yesterday, the first half of our meeting was about um, my synthesis project. So for anthropology, in order to become a PhD candidate, you the like the project you have to do is create a syllabus, and then you have to defend it. And um, but usually, like the project is due on the in the not due, you have to work on it in the spring and summer and then you have to defend sometime in the fall so um my supervisor just wanted to check in on me and see if i was up for it or if i wanted to skip it the semester because um i just started the phd right but i told her that i'm feeling up for it so like i'm doing it um and so i think what i'm gonna be doing it on is sensory anthropology or anthropology of the senses i need to get myself more acquainted with that literature so um it should be fun um but that's what i'm thinking i mean it might change <laughs> but right now that's what i'm thinking is the best course that would be like useful for my own research um and then after that what did we talk about after that we talked about so there's her lab right and in this lab we look at and research human plant relations and um there's another lab at the university uh in anthropology as well that looks at human animal relations so we have collaborated over the last two years with that other lab and um our grant for the lab i work at is going to like expire this spring summer <clears throat> so we have to apply for grants and um we're applying with the other lab for one grant because we want to do this combined uh research project looking at like elements so it's not like just plants and animals but like the, the elements so it's a really cool project that we're trying to draft up but there's two grants available so there's that one the collaboration grant and then there's another grant called knowledge mobilization and um, i'm going to be writing that for the lab for the, the one single lab um and uh and yeah so i have a research proposal to write and then 
after that we just kind of chit chatted for a little bit i mean i was sick with covid so she was like how are you feeling and apparently well right now it's like flu season in canada so everybody is like getting sick um but yesterday uh yeah so we talked just like we, we just cut up with each other um so we're all good now and um yesterday remember i was telling you guys i'll show some clips of the rainstorm we got and it's it was like rain and ice storm but it turned black ice so yeah it was not a very good weather day yesterday but today should be like a high of 10 which is like crazy um but yesterday i was so concerned at one point because we lost electricity twice so we lost it in the morning like early in the morning and then and that was only for like an hour and then after that like 15 minutes before i was meeting with my supervisor the lights went off and i was like okay my laptop's charged like everything is charged because i was being cautious right i'm like if things get worse I'd rather be like everything fully charged, you know? So I did that. And um, so 15 minutes before <laughs> the uh, the meeting, the power goes off and I'm like panicking. I'm like, oh my God, because then I don't have Wi-Fi and I need to use my phone data. And I don't really like doing that. Even though I pay for it, like I have it for like emergencies, <laughs> if that makes sense. And, um, and so, yeah. The light came back on like two minutes later and I was like, okay, it's going to be fine. Um, and yeah, so then after that I met with her, my husband had started on dinner. We made, well, I should say he made shepherd's pie and it was delicious. And then after that, I just continued working on the research proposal. This morning I woke up early so I can work on it and maybe get the powerpoint done we don't need to have a powerpoint that's what the professor said but it's always nice to have like a powerpoint in my opinion uh, especially because i'm like a visual learner so i find visual like visual aid helpful and so this morning i woke up early to get ready because my husband's gonna be driving me to campus um but also to work on that powerpoint and just clean up my presentation a little bit more like i wrote it in a day so it's a bit rough i mean i hope i get like a solid a or at least a solid b plus and then i can make up the rest because um yeah it's just it hasn't been like the best time for me especially because i got sick with covid and again that's like not an, an excuse but COVID does get the best of you. Like, I feel like a whole different person now <laughs> after COVID. Um, and that's just not being dramatic. It's just like appreciating being in a healthy body, you know? Sometimes we don't know the pain other people go through, especially those with chronic illness. Um, I have a mom with a chronic illness and just the way that I felt. And I'm like, oh my God, she feels like that every day, you know? Um, that's why I help her a lot because for me it's not like the end of the world but it's like she needs me so be kind to the old, older people around you be kind to your auntie to your grandma to your to anyone really around you that may may be struggling and may be going through things you know like one of the things that i like to do with my mom is obviously go over and help her with my siblings um help her clean help her cook um and you know i know that we live in our own lives and live fast and stuff like that but honestly just taking the time to give back makes a difference um maybe not in your life but in other people's life and um and that's what i do that's what i do that's what i like to do um so i'm keeping my makeup very simple today okay i got blush i got eyebrows i got mascara Ooh, let's put a little, little bit of lip, lip gloss lipstick so i want to be done with this lip oil now that it's like 
three i'm almost done um and i don't know if i want to get like another lip oil i kind of want to try the house lab one or if i just should not waste my time my time not my time but not my money on lip oils and something else Ooh, and then yesterday i actually ordered some new shoes so i don't know like i know we haven't gotten to meet each other like that yet but for me i like to just like the simplest things in life make me happy and i'm a type of person that used to be like an extreme consumerist but as i've grown and as i've matured and as i've you know become comfortable in myself i don't really like wasting too much money on like clothes um i like to keep all of that very simple but i had not gone like shoe shopping in a while well i haven't gone shoe shopping in a while and um i have so i have three pairs four pairs of boots i have my winter boots those are completely done um i had those for five years and yeah they're done they have holes so i'm throwing that out i have a pair of high knee boots i have a pair of black just like platform boots then i have a pair of just um like everyday little like booties um and what oh and i have a set of pink dr martins that i've had for like 13 years now but they're still good um and uh but the thing is like none of these are waterproof except for like the dr martin they're kind of like waterproof um by given like all the snow that there's out there and like rain season here i was like okay i need to invest in a pair of boots and um yesterday i was just looking through my emails to check if i had like a coupon <laughs> oh look this is a dirty pasta bowl from yesterday lunch i need to bring it up um but uh what was i saying oh yeah the shoes and so yesterday i was looking through my emails to see if i had like a coupon for shoes and surprisingly i did from soft mock plus i had some like cash to redeem from there um and that's the other thing like i it's been like four years that i like shopping places that give you like points or cash back and stuff like that because like you know you're trying to save your coin and um yesterday i found like really cute cool waterproof boots um they are sorel i don't really care about like branding and stuff like that but these are gonna be so cute i can't wait to show them to you it should be coming in the mail by next week so now that i'm done doing my makeup i'm gonna get to working on the powerpoint i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but i keep pushing my pen rotating my stylus brokenness feeling like sin not no creflo dollar Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler Now all the girls go follow, all the fake friends gon' pile up I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow Stay this shaky in Verado Couple things I show, couple things I don't I can tell you my problems, I can tell you my sins I can tell you my problems, I'm uncomfortable in my skin I'm uncomfortable with my ends, I'm uncomfortable with my friends I'm uncomfortable with my drinking, I'm uncomfortable with my thinking I'm uncomfortable with my ways, I'm uncomfortable in this face I'm uncomfortable on good days, I'm uncomfortable on bad days I'm uncomfortable with my soul, I'm uncomfortable with my heart I'm uncomfortable with myself, I'm uncomfortable with my heart I'm uncomfortable with my thoughts, I'm uncomfortable with my feelings And sadly I'm uncomfortable with healing
beautiful people so i just got home um i took kenzo out to the backyard to do his little business and i just sat down at my table for a little bit because i came back from school hungry so i'm gonna have a ginger ale and some leftover shepherd's pie um kenzo is eating i just served him so you're gonna hear him around miguelito's active so you'll also hear him in the background um so the presentation went well your girl was able to actually you know write a whole proposal in a day and then do a powerpoint presentation this morning and the powerpoint presentation wasn't necessary but i still felt like I needed to create one like i said i'm a visual learner so i don't know i just it has more of an impact so i was the only one that actually did one so i mean whatever um i still think you know uh the the, the professor and my colleagues appreciated it so um i'm happy it's done it's official i'm officially done my first semester as a phd student um so i have until next friday to submit uh the final assignment which is a full research proposal 20 pages long and two critiques of the readings that we did in the semester so it's, it's manageable but uh but yeah so what i wanted to do or what i wanted to kind of do a little um opening opening is that what you call it? or an opening a hall i don't know all the terms all the fancy terms from the internet um but i got my shoes today so the boots that i was talking about oops sorry can i scared him the boots that i was talking about like the water boots um in the email it said that i would get them on april 13th so i was like oh um i'm gonna have to wait and i was a little bit concerned because ice storm was just horrible and um today everything is melting because the temperature is increasing so right now it's at around 10 degrees but it's supposed to increase all the way up to 20 degrees not today by the weekend so that's gonna be an extreme like weather change and there's still so much snow and ice and everything's melting so i was concerned that i wasn't gonna get like that i wasn't gonna have boots to to wear throughout the the week um, and I was even thinking about going to get just like, you know, those um, Canadian Tire, like, cheap boots, uh, working boots. But um, they came in today. Um, I'm sure, you know, one of the local stores had them in stock, so they just sent it my way. Um, <clears throat> but I'm so excited. It's called an unpacking. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kenzo. Don't get scared, okay? It's just a lot. I've never bought anything from Sorrel, so I kind of feel special right now. <laughs> but this is the big box. Um, and yeah, let's see. Let's see. These are so cute. Look at my new waterproof boots. I actually really like them. Um, I'll have to try them on, but I like that they're not um, like lined in the inside with like the uh, thermal fabric, just because um, I'm gonna be wearing them in the spring and summer. How cute are they? Are my little boots? Um, they're so cute and then in the back i like accent colors like that um they just make me happy like just a little pop of color always makes me happy but these are the boots the booties so like i said um i had a coupon plus cashback from softmog and um they cost me i think it was like came down to like 90 with all the discounts but plus taxes it came to like 120 i think something along those those numbers um but they're super cute so now i can go on a walk with mr kenzo 
and not have to worry that my um, feet are gonna get wet. And then the other thing I got in the mail is by the Incredible Seed Company. So um, this is going to be the second year that I garden. So I got into gardening last year and I got into it because of my research project and being part of the lab I coordinate. It's all centered on human plant relations. So I learned a lot and um, I'm going to be gardening again this year. Um, and so I already started some seedlings. I'll show them to you. Um, I started them about a week ago, but I had to order more seeds because I don't have a big variety. And um, the company I order from, it's called the Incredible Seed Company. Um, they are located in Nova Scotia, Canada. They are a seed library. And so they have a lot of local plants, um, like vegetables, fruits, uh, medicinal and culinary herbs, all of that stuff. Um, so I'm excited. I don't remember. I know I ordered a lot, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Whoa. Um, yeah, I don't remember all of them. So this one, I know my husband ordered it for himself and for Miguel because they can, oh, I have little like dusties. Um, it's microgreens, lentil microgreens. And uh, he ordered them from, for him and for Miguel because we got Miguel a little like um, microgreens at the pet shop and he loved them. So um, they're quite expensive at the pet shop. They're like $10.99. So now having access to them by growing them, it's going to be, it's going to be great. Uh, so this is the bag, a pretty big bag. I didn't expect that. It contains 2,500 seeds. Um, all right. So, oh yeah. So I ordered some Alexandria Alpine strawberry, Alaska tomatoes. Japanese climbing cucumbers because I have a very small backyard as you will see um, and so I needed to be cautious of the type of plants that I'm going to be growing so this is going to be great for like vertical gardening um, snowball white cauliflower uh, chamomile <clears throat> uh, Thai basil I didn't mean to order this because I already have a bag, but it's fine. Um, Oklahoma pink Xena flowers. Oh yeah, these are like really beautiful big flowers. I'll put a picture. But I got some seeds because I also want to garden flowers. You know, invite the pollinators. Uh, king size apricot Chinese aster. So this is another big uh, flower. And then we got, oh. And then we also got some broccoli microgreens. My husband and Miguel are gonna have two types of microgreens. I'm probably gonna have some as well. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool delivery to come home to. Um, so now what your girl is going to do is I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. Then I'm going to put a load of laundry in the washing machine because um, we're at, at the end of our clean laundry and we're leaving on the weekend for like Easter Sunday with my husband's family. So I need to start doing that. Well, start doing our laundry so we can have some for the weekend. And then I'm going to take Mr. Kendall out on a WALK and try out my new booties. So yeah, it's a great way to close the semester. I'm just really happy and proud of myself um, because I just push myself every day out of my comfort zone. Um, you know, being a first generation, like not just university, but high school, college and university student, um, it's not an easy thing. <laughs> But um, I made it through. I'm really proud of myself and I can't wait to plan the spring and summer semester with you um, and, uh, and for us to get to know each other more. Um, 
you know, I'm also really happy that I started this channel. Um, we have three subscribers now, so thank you so much. I know it's not a lot, but it just, it's cool. I have three people that like the content that I'm making and I hope you're students as well. And I hope that your semester is, you know, ending on a good note as well. Like I said, um, you may have like a bunch of deadlines, but just take one task at a time and um, prioritize based on like you know the deadlines but also the urgency of that task so with that um let me relax for a bit before i uh have to do some chores and adulting <laughs> This is the aftermath of the storm. There's a lot of broken trees, lots of broken branches. The geese are back. 